Mind blown. Reality. We take our physical world for granted. We can see, touch, hear, smell and experience it. 70 years ago, we invented the first computers, and their power has increased extremely rapidly. In fact, there has been a trillion-fold increase in our ability to create floating operations per second since the 1950s. Additionally, we are doubling the power of microchip processors every two years. Virtual reality has become very popular in computer gaming. It has thus far advanced from simple games like Pac-Man to pretty realistic appearing interactive games where you have a character or avatar. Now consider how this industry advances as it increases a thousandfold in 10 years, a millionfold in a few decades, and a billionfold by the end of the century. Brainwave interfaces will allow the experience of the virtual world to go directly to your brain and for you to fully interact with that world in a way that is indistinguishable from any other reality. Our computing power will far exceed the speed and capacity of a human brain, thus allowing humans to download their entire memory, personality, and intellect into the virtual supercomputer. Eventually, computing power will be so large that the entire planetary systems could be created, right down to the atomic level, giving one the power to create any reality with unique rules of nature and populated with millions of downloaded people, some of whom could be hundreds of years old and or super intelligent AI beings. Oxford professor Nick Bostrom postulated in 2003 that if we do advance to this ability to create indistinguishable virtual reality, then the chances are very good that we are actually in one. And beyond us, consider that if any civilization anywhere over the past 13.8 billion years has advanced to that point, then they could have created almost an endless number of realities. If this is so, then statistically, we almost certainly are in one of those. So what is real? And how do we determine and define it? Pretty mind-blowing.